I'm looking at a cooker fault this morning. This is a cooker behind me. First thing I've done is test the cooker itself from the cooker switch. So we've disconnected the, the cooker outlet from the switch. <clears throat> Not a problem with the cooker. So the fault must be on, on the cable that runs underneath the kitchen units, down under the floor and off to the consumer unit. So we'll go and have a look at the other end, um, which is also showing the fault. So we've checked out the consumer unit end, which has also got the fault on it. So we know it's somewhere between here, which goes underneath the floor and to the, uh, to the kitchen. So what we're going to do is find it midpoint underneath the units, cut it and see if it's the bit that goes up the wall to the switch or the bit that's coming under the floor and to the consumer unit. Found the cable underneath the kitchen units. We've got one end that goes underneath the floor and then the other end that goes underneath the units. Tested the end that goes underneath the units first. This end's okay, so we know from here underneath the kickboards and round to the cooker, that's absolutely fine. It's the bit that goes underneath the floor. So a little bit more intrusive work, we'll get the floor up and, uh, and have a look, see what's under there. So we're starting near the consumer unit, taking the floor up, pulled the cable out from under the floor, no obvious damage on that leg. Just moving it around and just testing it again, just in case anything happens, but uh, it's still showing complete short circuit, which is live to earth. It's also down neutral to earth as well. So we know the issue is somewhere between this end and the other end underneath the kitchen floor. So uh, we we'll better get the front room floor up. Right, so we're under the front room floor. Um, not a very big space. Um, a bit old for this, to be fair. But there's no obvious signs of damage to this cable. I've traced it all the way. But where it has been sitting is on this corner. And it's very damp. This cable's not really rated to, to be sat in such, such conditions. And it's one of the reasons you can't use flat grey PVC outside. Um, so it may be that some of this concrete or whatever it's been sat on has, has leached into the PVC and it's starting to break down. So the best thing to do, I think, is just replace the cable. Right, old lamp for cable has removed. I'm just going to retest it again. And it's completely down. Still on live to earth. Yeah, if we remove the clips, it goes clear. And it's straight down. Separated the ends the other side so that there's nothing touching. Um, no signs of physical damage. So yeah, water ingress and breaking down of the uh, the plasticizer in the PVC. That's the cable replaced, banded up, so that it's not going to sag onto this uh, flooring anymore. We'll go back upstairs, connect it up, power it up, and see how we get on. Right, that's a new cable in at the consumer unit. Just running another quick test on it. Straight up the clear, ten four nine. That's as high as this meter goes. Couple more tests to do, and we'll power her up. Well, that's the uh, cooker all in and sorted. Um, not the easiest fault to diagnose, but um, without the, the correct test equipment, you know, that's why I'm Mansfield's number one electrician. Catch you, catch you soon. <laughs>